Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Jab187, back here with another video. Today, I'm gonna be reviewing the Sanibel Gel Essential Boxing Gloves. Okay, guys? Here's a little 360 spin. Tain your ability. Okay, black and orange, Velcro. Nice Sanibel logo on it, patch. Nylon lining inside, mesh palm, you no know, well tipped seams, attached thumb. Okay, now if you guys haven't heard of Sanibel, these guys make everything you know uh, that has to do with kickboxing, boxing, and MMA equipment and gear. Okay, guys, these have these guys have some of the low end to some of the high end where. You know, at the high end, they have grape leather glove that just came out and uh, cactus leather gloves, okay? Um, you know, they do limited production on things like that. So, you know, they're uh, being innovative in terms of what they do. But they also have a lot of low-end, budget-friendly stuff, such as this glove. Now, this glove, guys, um, costs around $30 on Amazon and on their website. Okay, guys? And it has thousands of reviews. That is probably one of their biggest money makers, right? Now, this glove is made out of a synthetic leather. Okay, guys, not real leather. Okay, uh, gel padding. Okay, as the name says, right? You see bubbling all over right here. Okay, guys, gel padding, synthetic leather, mesh palm for breathability. Okay, guys, it is Velcro. Good Velcro, to be honest with you. Uh, nylon lining inside, which I have to say makes your hands sweat. Okay, guys, you're basically having a sauna suit on your hand, okay? Which is not a bad thing if you have a fat hand like I do. But if you have a normal size hand, that is not cool, right? Um, literally and figuratively, no pun intended. You know, your wraps are going to come out soaking wet and they're going to smell. I'm just being honest. Okay, guys. In terms of uh, stitching, these surprisingly came with welted seams, which I wasn't expecting. Okay. Not the greatest job done on the welted seams. But welted seams nonetheless. Right. Stitching is very well done. Symmetrical... You know, no problems with the stitching, surprisingly. They did an amazing job with their stitching. Right, guys? On both gloves. Now, you see the wrist support? Okay, it's all right. I mean, not the greatest, not, not too bad, you know? It's $30 glove. But it does get the job done, right? Um, like I said, Velcro. In terms of the ergonomics of the glove... Okay, like I said, not the greatest wrist support, but it gets the job done. Okay, very thin. Um, in terms of ergonomics, guys, your hand inside and punching fist is great, okay? It has a natural fist form, and for me, at least, for my short stubby hands, I can make a great fist, you know? Here it is, boom. Not the greatest pop. Right, uh, you know it is gel, so you you know if you have knuckle issues, there's a great glove. You know you don't feel too much of a pop, so you could really hit them. Right, um, inside in terms of the hand compartment, uh, how can I say? It's not too big and not too tight. You know, it just it's perfect in my opinion. For me, it's medium sized. I have no issues with my hand wraps in. Um, it's not a loose, right? I don't feel like my hands feeling tight. Thumb, comfortable. No issues there. And like I said, you know, when you hit the bag, it's very, it's a protective glove, right? So you don't feel it really. Like, as I'm, I'm pushing hard and I, I'm barely touching my knuckles, if that. So, um, you know, that's the glove. In terms of the weight, guys, we're going to weigh right now. 
It's supposed to be 14 ounces, guys, so uh, let's weigh it. All right, guys, so let's weigh the Santa Bull gloves, right? Make sure it's teared. They're supposed to be 14 ounces, so this is the left glove. Let me get that one out of the way. Cool. So 13.86. Okay. A little bit underweight. 13.23. So they're a little bit underweight, but um, hey, 14 ounces, right? They're the gloves. One thing, guys, I do want to say that remember, guys, these scales aren't commercial grade, right? They're not for trade. So just take that with a grain of salt. You know, they're not going to be uh, perfect, right? So uh, let's get back to the review. All right, guys. So like I said, guys, when you hit the bag, you know, you don't feel that pop. If you love that pop feel on your knuckles, you like feeling the shock, the power, this glove is not for you. It's just not. However, if you have hand issues, right, you just think protective and you want to hit the bag hard, Surprisingly, this does a good job of protecting your hand. Okay, guys. Now, this glove costs thirty dollars, right? So, if you're on a tight budget, or you're one of those where this is just a hobby, where you hit the bag a couple times a week, and that's all you do is hit the bag, maybe some light work, then hey, get this glove. This glove might be for you. You know, for thirty bucks, you can't go wrong. Um, if you're new to the sport. You're not sure if you're going to like it. Maybe your gym has a, a boxing bag, right? A heavy bag. And, hey, you want to try a couple rounds on it? Hey, this is a good pair to pick up. You know? Um, like I said, guys, it's a good glove to bounce you for 30 bucks. I wouldn't use it for sparring because it's gel padding. Even though it doesn't come with attached thumb. You know? Um... I would just use this for the bag, to be honest with you. Now, you could use it for sparring, you know, if you use work technique, light taps, right? Of course, you know, depending on your gym, your trainer, and how well you know your partner, it might be a good idea or not a good idea, right? That's on you guys. But anyways, guys, that was just a little quick view on the Sendable Gel Boxing uh, Glove. Very popular glove. Sells thousands, right? 30 bucks i can see why which is why i bought it because i was broke but um yeah guys great great uh bag glove, surprisingly for 30 bucks so uh that's it guys for this glove uh comment like and subscribe guys comment if you guys like this glove if you tried it or uh, haven't tried it if you guys don't like it but anyways guys peace out guys take care